be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely is going to help out the channel and a whole lot of other things. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's content. Now, today I want to cover how to turn pattern regions into MIDI regions. What do I mean by that? Okay, so check this out. I created this basic beat pattern, okay? But instead of creating it in the piano roll, I created this beat using the step sequencer. So now, right here in the workspace window, all right, if I wanted to edit these, I can't edit them unless I come in here to the step sequencer and edit them. So if I want to like edit what I create in the step sequencer, um, you know, in the piano roll and treat it as MIDI, um, this is what you're going to want to do. First things first, you're going to highlight the regions that you want to convert over to MIDI. And then the second thing you want to do after you highlight everything is just right click. And then you're going to see this option up the top says convert to MIDI region. Okay, it's that simple. Now, if you don't happen to see it at convert to MIDI region at the top, you can always go to the very bottom here. Uh, well, not the very bottom, but lower to the bottom and then go to convert and then go to convert to MIDI region. Okay. Once you do that, as you can see, everything turned green. And now if I want to come in here and do something different with like say a hi-hat pattern, I can come in here and move this around uh, via the piano roll instead of the step sequencer. Okay. And this actually is kind of a vice versa thing, right? Say if you want to convert this, um, to, to a pattern region instead. You can just easily go back and do that, okay? So this is literally a pretty good tip um, when it comes to editing. So like if you wanna edit your beats a certain way, you can do that here by converting um, you know, your files from pattern regions to MIDI regions. Thanks so much for watching. If this tip helped you out at all, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Also, give me a subscribe on here and a comment. Leave that in the, the, the uh, description below. Say logic gang. Say, hey, yo, this helped me out. Whatever you want to say, make sure you put that in the comments below. Also, before we end the video, make sure you're going to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have the links below, man. We have courses. We have kits. We have loop packs. We even have mixing services for y'all who want uh, help mixing your beats. We, have, we even have a giveaway that we're doing um, basically on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. We're giving away some dope prizes at different milestones along the way. So, for instance, at 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away our first prize, which is a pair of headphones. If you want to win some headphones, man, make sure you grab those tickets. All you have to do is go to the site, beatmakingbasics.com, and then click on giveaway. Um, on the menu and then just go ahead and download the subscriber bundle pack okay it's only five dollars and it's going to come with um, a few different tutorials and loop packs and different things like that that you can use okay to take your beats to the next level plus it's going to double down as entry into this giveaway all right so make sure y'all are checking out those other resources outside of just youtube um definitely going to help y'all a whole lot but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. We're out.